In League of Legends, the tier of the goddess and its upgrades have been modified for Season 3. On today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at how much mana the items require to become cost-effective. Let's see how the tier of the goddess has been modified. The tier of the goddess now costs 295 less gold, but will grant 100 less initial mana. It will still grant 7 mana regeneration. It will now grant 4 maximum mana whenever one uses an ability or spends mana, as opposed to only granting mana on ability cast in Season 2. A champion cannot benefit from this effect if they have gained maximum mana in the last 3 seconds. However, the bonus will not grant more than 750 maximum mana, as opposed to 1000 maximum mana in Season 2. The Tier of the Goddess is already cost effective as a stats of grant will cost 220 additional gold if purchased at the cheapest level, as opposed to 125 additional gold in Season 2. A full Tier of the Goddess will cost 1720 additional gold if purchased at the cheapest level, as opposed to 2,125 additional gold in Season 2. The Archangel Staff has been modified as well. An Archangel Staff now costs 155 less gold, but will grant 150 less initial mana, 15 less mana regeneration, but 5 more ability power. It will also grant 5 maximum mana whenever a champion spends mana, as opposed to the 4 from the Tier of the Goddess. A champion cannot benefit from this effect if they have gained maximum mana in the last 3 seconds. It still grants ability power equal to 3% of a champion's maximum mana. An Archangel Staff will become cost effective if it is being purchased by a champion with at least 536 mana, as opposed to already being cost effective on purchase in Season 2. However, the Archangel Staff will transform into Seraph's Embrace when 750 bonus mana has been granted from the item's effect. The Seraph's Embrace will grant 1000 mana but remove the mana granted from the Archangel Staff. Even though essentially no additional mana is being granted, this will allow a champion to charge up an additional tier of the Goddess as a bonus mana has been removed. It will also grant 60 ability power and 10 mana regeneration. It will still grant ability power equal to 3% of a champion's maximum mana. It will also drain 25% of the champion's current mana to shield for an equal amount when activated. This could be very useful on a champion such as Singe who could easily shield for 506.25 damage. The Mana Moon has also been modified and will transform into an item when full. A Mana Moon now costs 10 less gold and will grant 100 less mana and 10 less attack damage. It will still grant 7 mana regeneration. It will now grant 4 maximum mana whenever a champion spends mana or auto attacks. A champion cannot benefit from this effect if they have gained maximum mana in the last 3 seconds. It will still grant attack damage equal to 2% of a champion's maximum mana. A mana moon will become cost effective if it is being purchased by a champion with at least 725 mana, as opposed to already being cost effective on purchase in Season 2. The mana moon will transform into the Mura mana when 750 bonus mana has been granted from the item's effect. The Mura mana will grant 1000 mana, but remove the mana granted from the mana moon. It will also grant 20 attack damage and 7 mana regeneration. It will still grant attack damage equal to 2% of a champion's maximum mana. It also has a toggle effect, which will cause a champion's auto attacks and single target spells to deal extra magic damage equal to 6% of their current mana, and then consume 3% of their current mana. This means a champion with 1500 mana will deal 90 magic damage on their first auto attack while the Mur mana is active. Overall, the Tier of the Goddess has become more cost effective, and its upgrades need a small amount of mana to be the same. The new transformation items and more effective mana granting effects will also make these items all the more better. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook at facebook.com slash lolmathyoutube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.